a viewer asked about this tripod they saw me using yesterday and I always try to do what viewers ask for. This is a pretty killer tripod. I've got a couple of them. They're kind of expensive. I think it was like $120 or so. It's real sturdy. It's real tall. It can even get taller if you extend this tube up, which up for FPV and Transmitting and receiving radio signals is usually better. Here's another one over here. I've got it configured with the part that goes up sticking out. Uh, they're expensive, but they are killer tripods. And they noticed my stuff on top of it. I haven't really announced this yet. This is a MyFly Dream mini crossbow antenna tracker. They're only $150 a piece right now. <laughs> Probably should grab another one for spare. But uh, really didn't want to talk about it yet, but I was asked. So ask and you shall receive. Um, I haven't configured it. There's very little information on how to configure it on the internet. We'll be going over that. I kind of got airplanes and quads in the front of doing a video on this when I get ready to start configuring it. I did put a 3D printed piece on the front, mounted on the front, to hold my walk snail video receiver. And I did print this little tray. This is on the internet. I'll show the links to all this when I do the video. There's a GPS can go here. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, receiver transmitter over here. This is a nice little tray for mounting this. Uh, battery here with a little strap. Got places for battery straps to go through here and there's actually a place under there where the battery strap goes through a hollow place inside here so it's pretty good let me show you how i mount the walk snail this is the walk snail video receiver it's got aftermarket triple feed patch antennas on top for range Little battery connector comes out the side, SD card. Nothing unusual about this, like say aftermarket antennas. And this is the complement to the little mount mounted on the wax now. This is also 3D printed and attaches to the wax nail. And then this piece simply slips down in that piece. And now you've got this tripod doesn't go as high as the other one. Uh, now you've got it mounted on the uh, antenna tracker. I have a, a little uh, power cable, just a regular everyday toggle switch on XT60 connectors. I connect in here, connect here to the battery. I flip the toggle switch, whoops, connect it that way, flip the toggle switch, it powers up the receiver. Now yesterday you saw me having to turn this thing physically to uh, stay in front of my antennas. You also saw after I turned it up towards the one corner to fly in front of the antennas I had turned around and flew behind them again but you might have noticed it still worked this this the wax nail system works pretty good it's my first ever digital so in the future I will work this unit up and get it working so that uh, I don't have to physically turn the antennas to face towards my platforms the antenna tracker will do that for me just keep uh, the antennas pointed towards whatever platform I'm flying. 
So a viewer asked for this little video. I don't know when I'll be working up the antenna tracker. It's kind of a back burner thing. Uh, my fly dream had a problem with their web page right after I bought this. It was down for a month or so. I think their uh, provider had problems uh, for whatever reason. They went to a new web provider, I think, to increase the quality of their web page and increase their customer's quality. Uh, they're back up now. Uh, not a lot of information on how to get this thing running with Mission Planner and stuff out there. I don't know if I'm going to use a Bluetooth module on this to communicate. I don't know if I'm going to use a USB cable or what I'm going to do yet. This is one of the reasons I have the need for telemetry because what happens with this antenna tracker is the platform transmits its GPS coordinates to this antenna tracker. The antenna tracker knows where its GPS location is and it just calculates the direction, altitude and such between the two and points at it, points at the platform. Without telemetry coming back from the platform, this thing ain't going to work. And that's another reason I'm so hot on telemetry. I think some of those that didn't understand why I wanted telemetry so badly are starting to see now why telemetry is important. Anyway, a viewer asked to kind of get an overview of this. So I thought I would do this again. I would say possibly in a month. I'll be working up the antenna tracker. And again, it's a myflydream.com crossbow mini. Uh, I've got an antenna tracker over there in the door, a drawer that I made up from plywood, but I never got it running either. So I'm going to try to get one of the two antenna trackers I have here running and that'll kind of be at the end of my building stuff once I have this running my other antenna tire working for 5.8 and 1.2 this for digital I'll actually put the 5.8 and 1.2 on this too at some point the antenna tracker itself got a Yagi for the uh, 1.2 that'll really give me some range. Okay, guys. Thank you.